Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining our Mother and Refuge of End Times. We would like to share with you a message of the Virgin Mary to Antonio Ruffini, who allegedly had stigmata and bilocated forcey consecration. This is from the vision of Jesus Christ. Antonio Ruffini was born in Rome in 1907 on the 8th December, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. He was named in honor of Saint Anthony, the eldest of the three boys, and lived in a devout family with a very caring attitude to the poor. His mother died when Antonio was very young. Antonio only had a primary school education, but from the early age, he prayed with his heart rather from books. He had his first vision of Jesus and Mary when he was 17 years old. He saved his money and went to Africa as a lay missionary. He stayed for a year visiting all the villages, entering the huts to take care of the sick and baptize the newborns. He went back to Africa a few more times and seemed to have the gift of xenoglossy, which is the ability to speak and understand foreign languages without ever having studied them. He even knew the dialects of the various tribes. He was also a healer in Africa. He would ask the people questions about their ailments and then God would heal them with the herbal remedies that Antonio would find, boil, and hand out. Word soon got around to the other villages. The manifestation of the bloody stigmata in Antonio Ruffini occurred August 12, 1951. While returning from work as a representative of a company that made wrapping paper along the Via Appia from Rome to the Tarasina, an old car, it was very hot and Ruffini was seized with unbearable tears. After stopping the car, he went in search of a fountain he found shortly after. Suddenly, he saw a woman in a fountain, barefoot, covered in a black cloak, which he had believed to be a local piazza, who has also came to drink. Just arrived, she said, drink if you are thirsty, and added, how do you hurt? Ruffini, who sent a drink, a sip of water, saw that the water was changed into blood. Seeing this, Ruffini, without understanding what was happening, turned to the lady. She smiled at him and immediately began talking to him about God and his love for men. He was surprised to hear his truly sublime words and in particular those references to sacrifice of the cross. When the vision disappeared, Ruffini moved and delighted walked to the car, but when he tried to start it, he noticed that on the back and the palms of his hands were opened and appeared to be large bubbles of reddish bloodshed, as if he was bleeding. A few days later, he was suddenly awakened in the night by a loud noise from wind and rain and got up to close the window. But he saw to his astonishment that the sky was full of stars and the night was quiet. On his feet, he felt a little moisture, something unusual, and noticed with surprise that on the back and on the soles of his feet had appeared wounds like those he had on his hands. From that time, Antonio Ruffini is given completely to charity for the sick 
and the spiritual assistance of humanity. Antonio Ruffini had the stigmata on his hand for over 40 years. They went clear through his palms and have been examined by doctors who could offer no rational explanation. And in spite of the fact that the wounds went clear through his hands, they never become infected. Venerable Pope Pius XII authorized the blessings of a chapel on the spot where Ruffini received the stigmata on the Via Appia and the Father Tomaselli, and the miracle worker wrote a booklet about him. Ruffini is also reported to have had a gift of bilocation. After receiving the stigmata, Antonio became a member of the Third Order of St. Francis and took a vow of obedience. He was a very humble man. Whenever someone asked to see the stigmata, he would mumble a short prayer. Kiss the crucifix, remove his gloves and say, Here they are. Jesus gave me these wounds, and if he wants, he can take them away. Ruffini on the Pope Father Kramer, some years ago, wrote these comments with regard to Antonio Ruffini. I myself knew Ruffini for many years. In the early 1990s, Ruffini was asked point block in his home. Is John Paul II the Pope who is going to do the consecration of Russia? He answered, No, it's not John Paul. It will be his immediate successor either but the one after that. He is the one who will consecrate Russia. Antonio Ruffini died at age of 92 and even in his deathbed vehemently stated that the wounds in hands similar to what Christ had were God's gift. Brothers and sisters, let us pray for wisdom and discernment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who has instructed the hearts of your faithful by light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may have a right judgment in all things and evermore rejoice in His consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord said, for where two or three have gathered together in my name, I am there in their midst. May God bless you and keep you.